What up, K Rugs? This is old bird dog coming at ya. Today's video, K2. What is it? K2 spice, fake weed, synthetic weed. You probably heard about it. What is it? I know a lot of people are curious and just what what is the deal with this and why is it popular and all over the place? Hit that like, that subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Before we get into it, as always, I do not condone any drug use or promote any drug use. This is for informational and educational purposes only. Please see a doctor, professional medical person if you have an addiction. All right, let's get into it. K2, you know, commonly called synthetic cannabinoids or a, a cannabinoid. Um, what is it? K2 is, they call it synthetic marijuana, but it's not. What it is is a plant, can be any different type of plant that, you know, they use, and they spray psychoactive or different chemicals on it, and these chemicals are what get people high. It looks like weed, you know, it can look a lot different, uh, uh, then weed in some cases, but in most cases, it is just, you know, this green dust, you know, I'll put the picture up, just looks like a really dried kind of old bright weed. Now, they were originally developed for two reasons, K2, uh, for scientists to use and also as like incense and potpourri and stuff like that. Um, all, what are some of the different names for K2? You know, you got K2, Spice, Tucci, Deuce, Deuce Deuce, Wacky Weed, Fake Weed, Dookie, uh, Piff, Fake Piff, you know, different things like that. But basically, any kind of, you know, offset of weed. You know, or uh, first major uh, appearances and problems with it started to appear in like 2007, 2008. That's when, you know, the CDC and poison control started to get more calls for it. Now they call it synthetic marijuana. Is it synthetic marijuana? You know, drugs like K2 are called this, uh, but they say that, you know, most of the experts say this is extremely misleading. Marijuana is, you know, a natural plant that most people, you know the effects you're gonna get from it. You know the highs, the different types, but marijuana should always be a natural plant. K2 is when they take kind of an innocuous plant, could be anything, you know, any little leaves that have really no effects, just a dried plant, and spray on chemicals and synthetic chemicals to it that give a huge different random effect that most people have no idea. What are those chemicals sprayed on K2? This is where it gets really, you know, goofy and awful and freaky, and this is what makes K2 so awful and dangerous. Some of the different chemicals that have been found in K2. Fentanyl, hairspray, some of the other over-the-counter hygiene products, Marijuana, cocaine, heroin, other powerful drugs, all these have been found in K2. Other plants, some of them just regular plants and some with different effects, including alfalfa, blue violet, nettle leaf, marshmallow, rose hip, um, you know, blue water lily, honeyweed, things like that. Plants that aren't so innocuous, plants that have effects, um, psychoactive herbs like wild daga and Indian warrior, uh, both those both those plants give like a psychoactive uh, you know effect. Um, inhalants, multiple different type of inhalants have been found in there. Kratom, which is you know a, a pretty much an opioid. Nutmeg, alcohol derivatives, bath salts, very dangerous. Um, hand sanitizer motion sickness pills and other pills, uh, over-the-counter pills crushed up like sleeping aids and sleeping tablets and things like that, anti-diarrhea pills, I've never heard of people getting high on that, but apparently 
crazy stuff. Um, and prescription pills too that have been, you know, ground up or turned into a liquid and sprayed on, things like Xanax, muscle relaxers, things that give you a high. Um, also, there's been psychedelic tryptamine derivatives sprayed on there too. All those different things have been found in K2. That is unbelievably scary. Because what that tells to me is when I'm smoking it, or if I'm smoking it, I don't know which one of those chemicals are in the brand I got. My high could be anything from fentanyl, which could kill me immediately in overdose, to psychoactive tryptamine, which is like something, you know, that's supposed to be an upper derivative. You could go off the walls. Now, uh, what are some of the effects of K2? You know... This, you can't really say an exact answer to this because, like I just said, you might smoke one brand today that has fentanyl on it and the effects are bleh, extremely downer, and the brand you smoke tomorrow has inhalants or, you know, meth-type chemicals and you're freaking going nuts wired. So the effects range all over, but everything, relaxation, hallucination, impaired muscle movements, impaired thoughts slurred speech, uh, uh, you know, altered vision, euphoria, intense happiness, intense paranoia, heightened awareness, lowered awareness, uh, heart racing, psychosis, loss of touch with reality, agitation and anxiety, high blood pressure, paranoia, uh, shortness of breath, chest pains, seizures, nausea, vomiting, uh, blood coming out of different areas basically all those different things so any and every effect you can imagine could possibly happen from these different drugs with that being said are they safe no I in my opinion no they're not safe um, the US Food and Drug Administration you know the FDA warned in 2018 that a certain strain of K2 that they found and they were getting a lot of calls from, they tested it, had, I'm going to butcher this word, brodifacum in it, which is rat poison. So if I'm smoking that, I'm smoking rat poison designed to kill little animals. What is it going to do to me? Who knows? Uh, there's been cases, there was a big case in Illinois of a bunch of people who smoked one strain of it and they had blood coming out of different orifices in their body including peeing blood, pooping blood, and blood coming out of their nostrils. And this is just from smoking it. So to say is it safe? No, it's not safe. You have no idea what you're getting. Uh, between 2011 and 2017, U.S. Poison Control Centers got 31,000 calls related to K2 and synthetic cannabinoids. These products, you really have no idea what it is. And I mean, you could get, you know, like I talked about earlier, I mean, it's just anything from, if you're lucky, you're gonna get like a marijuana type of high. If you're not lucky, you could get the rat poison fentanyl one. You know, who knows? And the high from this, in most cases, does not last very long. Um, most cases, the high from K2 is like 15, 20, 25 minutes, sometimes even shorter. And it all depends on what chemicals they put on it. Is K2 addictive? Again, not really a direct answer to that, but there's been multiple cases of people saying they have been addicted to it. Um, I've known a couple people that have gotten addicted to it. And that all kind of depends on the strain because if you got one with kratom or fentanyl or heroin mixed in it, you're going to get addicted because you're going to have withdrawal from those opioids like if you were doing them drugs regularly. There's people who've had addiction to marijuana, so even if the K2 didn't have those harder chemicals on it, you could still get addicted to it, to the high or whatever's in it. You know, any of those other substances mixed in it could have addictive properties and chemicals and there's been multiple cases of people getting addicted. Also tolerance. 
almost any drug we use, there's a tolerance. So whether it's K2 or not, tolerance builds up and people need more and more and want more and more of it. There's another good video on, on YouTube from uh, Vice, you know, where they interview a couple people addicted to K2 and how they were, you know, doing the same stuff I did to get money for dope, you know, robbing, stealing, lying, cheating. So the addiction can be just as bad. Uh, the, the fight of K2 being legal has gone on and on. You know, it came out and they marketed it as incense or potpourri and it was legal for a little bit and then, you know, the government catches on and they banned it. But what happens is like the same thing with bath salts. Bath salts are, are created to put in the water when you take a bath and they're, you know, I don't know, help with your skin and they have a good smell. Somebody got high on it one time and after that it was this fight back and forth. Same thing with K2. Government finds out they ban it but then the people making it or the companies overseas or whoever makes it they just change one or two ingredients and it takes the government a couple months or if not years to catch up to ban the new strain and as soon as they do that, the companies just change another couple of ingredients and do it again. And during that time, they make their money, the government bans it, boom, they change an ingredient. They put it back in the market. Or they'll put a label on it like, not for human consumption, only for incense purposes or whatever, to try to protect them from liability. It's this cat and mouse game. In general, yes, it's illegal, the government classified it, but like a lot of other things, it's just this cat and mouse game of one chemical being changed and it goes back and forth. And since there's no real set ingredient list, like it doesn't need, uh, you know, it doesn't need, boom, with heroin, you know, there's that opium derivative that without that, it's not heroin. There's no set one chemical in K2. This, this brand might get you high with you know, um, inhalants mixed on it, and this brand gets you high with muscle relaxers crushed up on it. So if the government bans the inhalant brand, they still got 10 different, you know, uh, uh, ingredient lists to make a different brand out of. So no, it's not legal, but it's this cat and mouse game of going back and forth. In general, you don't know what you're getting with K2. It just you know, you really have no idea what it's going to do to you, what you're getting, what it's doing to you internally. It can be very dangerous. All right. K Rugs, I'm out. That's my video on K2. Think twice before you use. And remember, sobriety doesn't equal misery. See ya.